good start today. Very good. And you see he's putting a little bit more height on his backhand. I told you, I did what you asked me to do. I was serving yesterday three quarters of the court. That's so awesome. Great training. Great training, man. Fantastic. Because yesterday, yesterday he was missing backhand returns yeah. and he was dumping back into their net. So the start today, he's already putting more shape on the backhand, which is great. And he made all returns so far. Nice. Okay. See, there's his, his, his lack of explosiveness was a little bit exposed. So when he plays players who can open the court well, he's going to have a hard time. You saw how he, he opened the court with that cross court and he was in a lot of trouble there. So it's again, like he'll improve that as he improves his um, fitness. It's all right. It's all right, Safi, stick with it, come on. I like the fact that he made four returns. There, he, he wasn't close enough to the ball. Did you see, he was reaching a little bit. Yeah, and the lack of footwork. Nice, rip. Again, I told you yesterday, his weakness is putting balls away to the deuce court. He's better at putting balls away to the out court. What are we talking about, inside out, down the line? Down the line. Stick to his strengths, yeah. I would have definitely gone uh, to his comfort zone there. But you know, it's funny, he's playing a lot more to his forehand today than he was yesterday. So he's listening to me. Because his best, yeah, his, Milan's, backhand is a, Milan's backhand is a lot more consistent than his forehand. He's going a lot more to the forehand. Nice defense. Great defense, Safi. Keep going. Come on. And not to say that his forehand is bad. So he has to be careful not to overdo it. He still has to go to the backhand side because a lot of times what happens with when you play someone a little bit higher level, and, and Milan is a high level player, UTR 13, former D2 player, that if you give him a lot of forehands, he might get into a forehand groove all of a sudden. You know? And then you got a problem too, so you, you can't be too like one way. You have to m still mix it up. Exactly. And then when he's half court, you stick to his strengths, like go more towards the ad court. Because we talked about that yesterday. He's he's much weaker putting balls away to the deuce court. So don't overdo it until we get it better. You know. Nice. Put it away. See? It's all right, Saf, and put that ball away when you get a chance. Come on. I told him yesterday, he knows exactly. He, he needs to improve putting easy balls away. He does, just doesn't smack them hard enough. That ball should have been a put away shot. That, that's, all right, that's okay. It's still a positive game, this one. He made a lot of long rallies. It's okay. Okay, look. You're doing a lot, a lot better start than yesterday. You're making a lot more shots. Remember what I told you though, you're more comfortable putting balls away to the ad court right. than you are to the deuce court. Even though you missed that one going inside out, the last one, you still, not all of them, but the majority of them, when you have a put away shot with the forehand from half court, go towards the ad court. Also, when you have a chance to put the ball away at the net, smack the ball harder. He was not putting enough pace on it, he, he got you. So yeah. that, yeah. you gotta put the ball away when you get a chance. You're doing a great job getting the ball in play. So now just get a nice hold and then try really hard again to, to get a break. You're very close this time, okay? Come on. See, that was a nice serve there. I like that serve a lot because he had a lot of slice on it. He was able to put him off the court. That's fantastic. You got an easy forehand winner. That's, that's nice. Yes, yes. Half court, when he goes to the deuce side, he's got problems. We have, we have to work on that, but... I did some deuce side shots with him yesterday. Did you really, from half court? Yeah. yeah. I 
put in there, so it all these, so yeah, yeah. Ones, I said put in this one. He's gonna have to work on it, but in the meantime, like just direct more of them the other side, the other way. Unfortunately, he didn't do enough with that forehand because his volley game is still, I feel like there's still a little bit of a lack of confidence. Like, I don't see him confident up there when he comes in that he's going to, like, you know, put the, put the volleys away. It's always, he's always, like, giving the other guy another look, you know? So again, yeah, so I think he had to come in on that one. Unfortunately, he, he didn't do enough with the forehand. He put it too close to the middle. Excellent, soft, and nice work. Just flatten that out for no reason. No reason. It was more of a bunt backhand, you know, but it wasn't the right ball for a bunt backhand. His ball was spinny, he didn't have that much pace. He had to hit the backhand there with top spin. It's the wrong shot selection. Transition game is what's hurting him today. He's missed, like this is the fifth, the fifth or sixth one that he's missed. Six transition shots. He yeah. Missed. There's just too many. He's becoming a baseline. I told him, play safe, be selective in the approaches. Tentative. When he gets a ball there, he has to go for it. Go for it. Yeah, he has to go for it. He has to go hard. You can't be like massaging the ball because if you massage the ball, you're in a horrible place in the court. You're in no man's land. So that's an area of the court where you have to go. And there's a little bit of lack of trust right now. And I can see that he's not going full speed there. There's a little bit of lack of confidence. touch right there the fact that he didn't try to go for that shot yeah. uh, that's a big no-no for me he didn't, even move. he didn't even try to go, go. yeah so I like him to fight for every ball every ball you know never give up He's got a big problem putting balls away at the net. You see, it's like he doesn't finish the points off well. He's doing good from the baseline, like he's not missing that much, like he's doing well in the rallies, but when he gets an opportunity, like exactly what he's waiting for, like to be able to put the ball away and be more aggressive, that's where he messes up, you know? Somebody is playing too safe. You're watching and you've been telling him, you know, be selective, be selective. You know what do the net. I'll talk to him next change over there. He is co when he's at the net, when he's playing half court, he's yeah, got to be, he has safe. to be aggressive. He can't, because when you're you told him, uh, what was the mistake you were saying? Easy yeah. mistakes. Well, what it so is, he's when, that way. yeah, when you're being careful, you end up missing anyways. You know? That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. But anyway, when you tell him you're making easy mistakes, it registers. So yeah. He starts to modify his game. Yeah, the, the, well, it, it's okay. I don't mind that necessarily, but it, it's circumstantial. When he's, gets an opportunity, he's, he has to go. He has to go. So I, I'm, not, I'm okay with him reducing the speed a little bit, putting more spin and keeping the ball and playing more from the back. But when he gets an opportunity, he has to go hard. Because from that part of the court, massaging the ball and being careful results in a lot of mistakes. Okay, like there, there is... Some spin. Yeah, well, if the ball is low, absolutely. When the ball is low, absolutely, you can't go for a winner. But when he gets a little bit of height, when the ball has a little bit of height, then he has to go for it. Best shot he's hit today, a strong, hard forehand cross court. I want to see more of those, that was really good. Okay, so there, 
that, that's an example of, of a lower ball half court where you can't go full blast. Mm. You got to put more spin and he did, thankfully, but still he almost missed it there, you know, I was still playing with fire. He hit the back of the line there. So um, that's an example of where you can't go super hard from half court when it's low like that. He was a little too far away from the ball there. Too far away. I feel like, you know, don't you think? Yeah. It was a reaching, little, reaching. yeah, just a little slightly reaching and he wow. framed it. Absolutely. That's another one where it needs more spin when it's low. And he knows it. You saw him mimicking the spin? Sure. He knows, he knows what he got to do. It's all right. He could have won the first game. He could have held the second game and he could have broke this game. So it could easily be 3-0 him right now. So he's in this, you know? See what I mean? Half court is his nemesis right now. The half court game. So many mistakes from there. All right, Safin, first of all, like this, this could be 3-0 you right now. Every single game was super close. You had chances in every single one of these games. So you stay with it, okay? You got a nice hold here. Remember on the, on the half court game, when you get a little bit of height, don't like be careful, go for the kill. When you get a low ball, however, don't go for, don't think winner, think like a lot of spin. And I saw you mimicking there, you know, you know that's, that's true, right? Too many mistakes from half court right now. You got to clean up your game in that area. So again, when you feel like there's a little bit of height, Go for the blast and even if you miss don't worry about it when it's low and when you're in transition you don't go for the winner you put more spin okay. and play the ball a little bit shorter okay. other than that you're playing well you stick with it you get a hold right here come on kill kill there you go that's the way to kill the ball finally he's trying not to he's trying to please you he's trying to He's doing good, man. Tennis is it's easier said than done, all this stuff. Yeah. Because you got to deal with the other guys. So yeah. the Milan is... Down. That's well, why he's to keep it clean. I understand. But Milan is... Yesterday, Milan was giving him a lot more mistakes than he is today. Um, so Milan is playing really well today. So he's got his hands full. There was just footwork. There was no setup there. He can't just stand there and hit that ball. He needs to make adjustments with his feet. Right. Yeah. There needs to be like three, four, five steps out of the way and then play the ball there. He just wasn't, wasn't move enough. That combo works today. That nice slice out wide and the forehand um, down the line, inside out winner. He, I, this is the second time he's done it. That combo is working well. Simply missing a little bit of height when he goes, when he goes to that deuce side. You see, it's almost all into the net, right? Yeah, exactly. It's very little long. It's always in the net, so he's missing a more topspin. So I think the immediate solution is don't go there so much. Long-term solution is to really work on, on you know, hitting to that side aggressively. So you just, for now, I'd go there a lot less. Inside, especially inside. That probably is worse forehand as the inside and forehand. <laughs> Okay, you got lucky there. You got so lucky there. All right, Safi, huge point, man. Come on, stay with it. Serve and volley, wow, nice, yeah. old school. I like it with a body serve too. Awesome, Safin, keep going, man. I like that play. Now, if that would have gone wrong, I would have said, oh my God, why did he come in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like coaching after the fact, it's one of those things. I'm sure I would have said like, why the heck did he come in on that, you know? But when he makes it, then it's good, and it's a good play.
through the middle. Put away volleys, big problem. Very strong soften, come on. That's a fantastic hold right there, soften. Come on. Now it's time to get that break back, okay? Come on. Soften, great return there. See what you guys did yesterday working on the return. You see how it paid instant dividends? Because yesterday he missed like about 10 backhand returns on one side. Uh, three quarters on the two side, everything goes back. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And you see how he's making them today. And then we say that and then he misses one. But that's a different story there. That's a footwork mistake. You cannot stand on a kick serve and play the ball. You have to make adjustments. There he needed a couple of steps of adjustments. That's why he missed it. He was just, he was just standing there and then played the ball. And it was a little too far away from him. Kick serve needs, kick serve return needs tons of footwork and high intensity. You can't get like, you can't get lazy on those. You gotta like tell yourself, I gotta move, I gotta move. Still better, but still, he's a little too close to him this time, into his body, and he steered it just a tad. Keep your feet moving on that kick serve return soften. Come on, a lot of intensity. That was long too. Right, here's an opportunity, 30 all. He has a huge chance to get that break back, huge. On Safin, right here. He gets plays a good point here, he's got 30, 40. It's a huge. Go, 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 come on. See, that's what's missing. We talked about that early on, like the importance of mini tennis. You now Milan, yesterday, he what he did with that shot, right. the way he ran it down with feel and put it cross court. Oh. Safin is missing that because he has simply hasn't done enough work in that area of the court. He's missing a little bit of feel around the net. Especially the combination of running fast and then also having a soft hands. And there's a lot of drills that I do with, with my players to work on that. But so you can still he can improve tremendously in that part of his game, but it's huge because think about it. While while you might not see that those type of balls often in a match right maybe you, you, you get a chance to hit like three or four of those but see what the boat situation that came in it was three one thirty all he had a chance to do it and he didn't have it in his repertoire so you might that type of shot might only be called that called off like a couple times a match but it might be in a huge huge situation super important situation and that's why it's important to have a full repertoire and work on everything whether it be the back end overhead forehand overhead slice drop shot lob everything Everything. All right, Safin, that's huge that you held that game at, at three love because you, you, right now you could be down five love, which is which yeah. is terrible. So you're still in this match. You got to get a nice hold here and get the break back. You feel like you're playing better now compared to the very beginning? I feel like, yeah. Okay, you feel more confidence, right? So you're right there in this set. You stick with it, man, okay? Keep yeah. going. Come on. How is he when he loses? Is he one of those guys that he gets completely distraught and you can't talk to him for a day or two, or does no, he no, like? He's okay. He's okay with it. Yeah, he's okay. I don't want to get distraught. <laughs> you know what I see with him? I, I, he doesn't show the fire inside of him. He doesn't show it much to the outside, but I can, I can feel that he has a lot of fire inside his belly. Like he, he wants to do well. He tries really hard. Low percentage shot. And then you should never go for a winner when the ball is that low. Especially not down the line and flat like that. So it's again shot selection. I don't mind he go, him going down the line winner with a backhand, but not on that shot. That has to be rolled back into play and then wait for something a little bit higher. See, all this stuff accumulates through the course of a set. You know, he's made like probably 10 of these, it's on 10 of these mistakes in the set today already. And that's why it's gonna to be tough to, to get this set, you know? Another one. Um, where he hasn't made any of those mistakes. I mean, he's made a couple here and there, but that's what tennis is all about, you know? It's about like, it's simple as this sounds, it's about not missing. 
That's what the, the Djokovic, look it's at how, it, it's not simple to not miss, I understand, but you look at like a guy like Zverev or Medvedev, the reason why they're doing better than all these other younger guys, because they're the ones that are the most consistent. You look at a guy like Zverev, he's like super tall, he can hit the ball very hard, but he like massages the ball from the baseline, he misses very little, Zverev. Super consistent, Medvedev, same thing. That's why they're doing so well. That's what tennis is all about. The reason why he's down 4-1, 15-30 is because of the, all those unforced errors that he's making. The, the shot selection is poor. And, um, and it's not because necessarily he has a bad forehand or backhand. It's just to, to play the ball a, the correct way in the correct circumstance. That's, what it's, that's what's missing. So he's taking too big of a cut when he shouldn't, you know? And that's why he's missing too much. But all this stuff can be worked on. That's the good news. They notice how that toss is sliding too far to the right. I don't know. It's like more today than yesterday. I don't like it that far over. He's trying to line it up with the neck post. But, otherwise it goes but it's not arcing at all today, the toss. When he's all the way out there, he's going to lose power. Like we talked about this in some of our previous lessons. Like he needs to have the toss 12, 12 to 12.30. You know, and then it can like draw more energy from his core. When he slides that toss too far out, it's like doing pull-ups. When you're the further your hands are away, excuse me, the further your hands are away, the tougher it is to pull yourself up. So when he's over there, way over to the right on the serve, it's going to be tough to get his max power. It works for the slice. It's a lot easier to slice, but it's, he needs to fix that. We need to. He, we talked about that already many times. So I need to just re reinforce uh, that he needs to pay attention to his toss. There was a nice toss article in New York Times two days ago. You read that? I didn't. Oh, what was it about? About how it's one of the most difficult strokes to master. This is the toss, yeah, it is. It's how very difficult. It looks so simple, but how important it is. It's so important that it's... Well, I always tell people, like, it is one of the only things that recreational players struggle with and elite level players struggle with is a toss even the like a lot of the WTA but also some ATP have a hard time oh, with yeah. the toss yeah. I think the difficulty lies in the fact that we're tossing the ball with our off our off hands yeah. you know and we have to coordinate it we have to sync it with the right hand and it's a nutshell if you prefer between high and low which one would you prefer it depends on the serve style so I can't give you that answer it depends on what's going on the, the, with the rest of the serve there's nothing wrong with a high toss if it matches the the type of style the serve has. So on his particular height of the toss is okay. I don't, I don't think it's a problem at all. He has a problem with arcing, but we'll talk about that. Don't worry, we'll, work, we'll continue to work on that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, don't worry about it. But you see what happened in this match? He just, got, he just made too many mistakes. There was a chance for him to um, come back. And, good job, Safin, to come back into the match at, um, at the 3 one all. 3 one thirty all. That to me was on a window. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That was a window because he gets the break back right there. Now he holds the three all. Anybody can win, but he goes down. The ball and he hit across. Yeah, but then he goes down four one and he loses the service five one because now he's in a world of trouble. But the great thing about tennis is that you know, there's a second set. Like it's you always have chances. You just got to stick with it. Strong shot. I will also say that Milan is playing better than yesterday. Yesterday he was giving him more mistakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Today he found his. Like he's on. He's on his game today. I tell you. He's changing direction. He's changing height. Absolutely. What is that? Yeah, again, push. It's a push. It's not a put away. It's a push. Massaging, Massaging the volley. You can't do that against a player of this caliber. You have, when you had the opportunity, you gotta, you gotta kill him. You gotta kill a guy like this, or he's, or you're gonna pay the price. He looked like he was feeding him. Yeah, yeah massaging the volley. You can't do that. You, that volley needs to be put away. But it's okay. We'll work on all this stuff. It's all right. <clears throat> Good job, Milan. Thank you, coach. You play really well today. Thank I think you. you had your racket. You played, I think, a little bit better than yesterday, don't you think? Oh, well, my forehand definitely. Your forehand felt <laughs> yeah. better. Yesterday, forehand. But you know what I was. There was funny thing is like, and I told this to Safin's dad, like yesterday your forehand was off and I told him after the match, or during the match too, that he should probably not go to your backhand that much, right. go to your forehand. And then today you went to his forehand a lot more 
But what happens a lot of times when we're talking about like a high play level player like yourself, when he gives you a ton of forehands, now all of a sudden you get in a forehand rhythm. Right, right. By yeah. you giving him a lot of forehands, he improved his forehand and got into a right. rhythm. Yeah. So you, you always have to leave the window open to like, to say, okay, this is not working anymore. Now I got to mix it up again and go back to his backhand. Like mix it up. Don't continue going to his forehand because now he's not giving you any forehand mistakes whatsoever because now he's in a forehand rhythm. Yeah, so then you, you throw that plan out the window and you go back to like mixing it up like the normal way. There's a few things that were, they weren't happening yesterday that were happening today. Your toss was sliding way over to the right. Did you notice that on your first serve? No? It was like yesterday you were more 1230 area. Today it was like 130, man. Sometimes two o'clock. I don't know if you tried, was trying to slice your surf more. No, I wasn't. No. So you got to remember, we worked on this many times that you're going to draw a lot more power from um, being around 1230 yeah. and also there's more disguise. So that was number one. Right. Number two, the half court game is something that we absolutely must improve transition game. transition game like you're better going inside out and down the line um, you're not as comfortable going to the deuce side whether it's forehand whether it's backhand and that's even true from the baseline to some, some extent yeah. also um, you need to have shot selection in general shot selection is super important but especially shot selection when we're talking about your half court game because you cannot go hard when he's giving you like a slice and you're moving in transition yeah. that's where you have to put like more spin on the ball, not go for a winner. I told you this in one of the changeovers. Yeah. And when you get a little bit of height, you go for the kill. The immediate solution is that you stop going towards the deuce side and put 90% of the balls towards the ad side when it's a put away shot. A long term solution is that we work on you putting balls away to the deuce side. Yeah. Does that make sense? The one thing that I loved about you today, and this is great that you made an immediate improvement in the amount of returns that you made in play. Yesterday you, were, you missed at least 10. Yeah. Back end returns, easy back end returns. Today, you missed far less, and you guys worked on it yesterday, and that's yeah. fantastic. It worked right away. However, I'm gonna say, you weren't doing a good job returning kick serves. No. You made like, I think, five back end return mistakes off a of kick yeah. serve simply because you didn't have enough intensity, you didn't have enough footwork, you weren't moving your feet. So, returning a kick serve is all about intensity, it's all about footwork, and uh, that's what was missing a little bit today. But overall, I think you you played well. You did good. Yeah. The, 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 the tennis is all about the couple of points here and there that can make they can make a difference. So you're doing good. Again, this guy is unbelievable shaped. He's completely ripped. He's a, a kind of tough to play against. He doesn't miss anything. He runs everything down. He's tough. He's UTR what? 13? Yeah. Yeah. He could have easily played D1. He played D2, but I would play D1. I know what guys are like in D1. He's more of a D1 player. And you're right there with him. So we're in a good space we have room to grow we can improve these things and you're right there man Definitely. okay your so that game, your game has a lot of potential a lot of potential game. now you just gotta put it together yeah. and it's gonna be exactly. exponential growth absolutely like mine for example i've kind of milked out everything i have i would need to work a lot more to get to that next stage but you have it because if we if we compare my fork to your fork and you win if you compare my serve to your serve you win if you compare my wallets to your wallets you win yeah. Now the goal is just to use that, put it all together in a product. Yeah. So when you play a match, you can beat me 6-1. Right. I, look, first of all, like, I, I think there's some truth in what you're saying, but you're like trash talking yourself a little too much <laughs> because there's different types of forehands. Like right. your yeah. forehand yeah. is not like his forehand or my forehand. It's, it's, a, strong. it's yeah. a different style of More forehand. Yeah. You're yeah. looking to do different things with your forehand. Yeah, you're looking right, to right. put height on it and not yeah. miss it and, 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 yeah. and maybe create angles with your yeah. forehand yeah. where exactly where Safin is trying to, yeah. to hit forehand winners and be super aggressive. Yeah, so, that's a, that's a good point. So, so I wouldn't say that his forehand is so much better than yours. It's just a different type different of forehand. Type. Yeah, you know a, what I'm saying? That's a, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. But anyway, good job, guys. That, that, All right, that was a good, that that was was a good set. Was a yeah. Thank you, Coach. Awesome. Yeah. Safin, thank you so much.